Very she, nice. she made it herself. She crocheted it herself. Really yeah, great. I Thank said, you. Thank I you, said lady. to her, just kidding around. <laughs> Anything for Regis? And she said, I never know if you're going to be here. <laughs> I'll, share, I'll share my Tough. necklace with you. <laughs> no. Tomorrow on our show, Stephen Tyler will be here. <laughs> One of the judges on American Idol, yeah. And listen to this, everybody. Angie Dickinson oh, yeah. will Angie, be here. She's... I'm so excited. Oh, yeah. Can't wait to see you. We'll also take a look at the hottest tech gadgets to come out of the Consumer Electronics Show last week in Las Vegas. And we will be making a big announcement. We have, it's so big, we have no idea what it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here comes a native New Yorker turned Hollywood star, currently starring in Showtime's hit series, uh, Californication. Please welcome David Duchovny. <laughs> Right. Yeah, you said right I also here. Used to sitting right there. That's right. Yeah, did you there. did you enjoy it? I do very much. Oh, You've got okay. a great job. Uh, really? <laughs> yes, <yeah. laughs> Thank I'm you, gunning Dave. for you. I know you are. <laughs> you know, Angie Dickinson tomorrow, it's interesting, at, at uh, Collegiate, where I went to high school, mm -hmm. for some reason, the seniors had a page where they had female equivalents. We were an all-boys school. Right, right. It's an odd thing, isn't it? Right. Angie Dickinson was me. No kidding. Yes. Uh, how did that if happen? If I was a woman, I would be Angie Dickinson. That was uh, how did they determine that? I don't know, Regis. It, it just, I, it's just one of those well, how things. how did it feel to be Angie Dickinson? Well, better than a, a lot of other <laughs> options. <laughs> I, would, I was quite uh, proud of yeah, myself. I'm anxious to see you, too. Yeah. So, and welcome back to New York. Thank He's thank living you. here now. We love yeah. having yeah. you here. We love, love having being the here. Duke was, Company family. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, thank was you. It, what was that transition like? Uh, tough, uh, tough for, well, having grown up here, it shouldn't have been tough, but it was tough for me, but for the kids especially, because they grew up in Malibu, which sure. is, couldn't be more different. Mm. Sure. And they were used to walking along the beach and picking up shells and sea glass and things like that. So they were, we call it treasure, you know, mm. always. And they'd come back with their pockets filled with treasure. And then when we got to New York, you know, they were still... They were picking up gum and... Where's, you know, the, where's the treasure, Daddy? Yes, and there is no treasure yeah, here. Exactly. My, my kid would pick up something I couldn't even identify. <laughs> put, put Petrified that something. Is down. Or that is not treasure. That's, yeah. that's garbage. It is. It's something really tough on the kids. But yeah. do, do you like it better? I mean, uh, yeah, there are things that I like and things that I miss. But, yeah, but sure. you know, we have family here, which is great. Mm -hmm. We just history. did the same thing. You know, yeah, he moved, moved his kids from California. out there a long here. time, and then we moved here. and then They hate you for it, don't they? N well. Yeah. In the beginning, they yes, did. They used yeah. to leave little notes on your pillow, you know, when Joy and I went out. Oh, please take us back. Really? You know? Yeah. Yeah. And it was. It, I know. it is. It is hard. But eventually, they catch on, and now they're glad they came back and, and yeah. got a taste of New York. Well, kids are adaptable ultimately, sure. and, yeah. and and they don't run the family. You know, and I almost I almost brought my daughter here today, and I'm glad I didn't because uh, she would be inspired to to work up her campaign to go back to L.A. Oh, really? yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you happen to see the Golden Globes? Last I didn't. Time? I was traveling back here to see you guys. I was I was in the air oh. while, while they were happening. Oh, oh. Yeah. from where? From L.A. I was in there, you know, shooting doing the show. not shooting, but oh. doing publicity oh, for right, the right. opening. Oh, that's show. right. Yeah, you got a lot on your plate. You came back and you did a show off Broadway. Yes, on Broadway? yeah, yeah. I, it, we ended in uh, late December. Yeah. Yeah. What was yeah. it like to be back on? I'd never been on stage. It wasn't, oh, was, you know, I'd no, never, ever. No, your first experience. Um, I played one of the Magi in a Christmas pageant when I was oh, 10. Well. <laughs> <laughs> and what'd you play this time? Uh, <coughs> not, not one of the Magi. <laughs> <laughs> no, I play a survivor of a terrible office uh, shooting. Yeah. Actually. Oh, my so, God. So, so, so tell, tell me, David, you know, you've done TV, you've done mm -hmm. movies. Well, what was that stage experience like for you as an actor? Well, it's, it's interesting because it's different every day, much like your job, I mm -hmm. would think. It, there's a certain kind of, even though you're not improvising the words, you're improvising the feeling and, and, and what's going on with the audience. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, matinees can be different from, from evenings and things like that, and often there's somebody asleep in the front row, mm -hmm. you know. Right, and sure. And you have to kind of uh, deal with that. <laughs> and, uh, you, so I take it you, you enjoyed it or you really didn't like it that much? I, I loved it. I love certain aspects of it. I love what I do as well. I mean, I've, I've been a long time doing filmed sure. acting and, and directing, and, and I feel like I finally know what I'm doing there as well. So I enjoy doing what I know what I do. Sure. It's like exactly. home. Yes. It's like going yeah. home. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I feel like I spent a long time learning it, and mm -hmm. I like to, to use my skills at this point. So I, I like them both. But well, let's go back and talk about those skills some yeah. more when we return ah. with David Duke. <laughs>
Still ahead on live from the new series, Harry's Law, Kathy Bates. David Duchovny. Californication in his fourth season fourth, right that now. Went yeah. Fast, my gosh. And this yeah. character you've played. For you, maybe. <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. Hank Moody. Yeah. He's a writer living in L.A. Seems like uh, things aren't going well and haven't gone well no, for no, Hank no. for a while well, now. When things go well, it's not as funny. That's, that's true. <laughs> but now, are you in or are you out of jail? Because it seems to I, be. I, 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 the first episode, I get out of jail. I, I took a swing at a cop, among other things. Uh -huh. and, and, uh, so uh, this year I'm, I'm involved with the legal system, but in our in our humorous way, as, as humorous as we can be about. When it. you say involved with the legal system, you mean <laughs> <laughs> you're under I, arrest? I, yes, <laughs> I'm not a lawyer. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm under arrest. Yeah. And you got Rob Lowe with you, huh? Yeah, Rob Lowe. We we had a great time with Rob yeah? this year in, in, a, in a wig and a beard and a and a wool hat. What does he play? Uh, he plays a movie star. Uh, uh -huh. they're, they're making an adaptation of, of a book that I wrote, and I'm involved in writing the screenplay, so I have to meet Rob's character, and he's a completely insane <laughs> movie star. You guys have worked before? Uh, we, one of the first jobs I ever had was a movie called Bad Influence from 1989, I think, 90, mm -hmm. and uh, Rob and James Spader were the stars of, of that film, and That's I had right. two lines, I believe. And the name of my character, you may recall, was Club Goer Number Three. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a long time ago. That was yeah. you. Yes. Yeah, we and remember I re you I re now. I, re I reprised the role in the sequel, uh, Club Club Goer Number Three, again. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I had two lines, and and I would, but I would get my hair and makeup done at the same time that Rob and James, they were at the other side, but. Rob was very nice to me, and I always remembered that he asked me questions. Oh, and that's he seemed, nice. He seemed interested in, in what I was sure. saying, and, and uh, this was the first time I'd seen him since then, 20, over 20 years. And I got to tell him, you know, it's nice when you work with people, yeah. and they're nice to you, and they have no reason and to be. And you don't forget it. And you get to say to them again, you know what, you were, you were really pleasant to me a long time that ago. That is great. Uh, David, what was your breakthrough uh, moment? I mean, it was Club Goer number three. It was. <laughs> No, really, was that it? No, no, it wasn't. <laughs> uh, I, you know, it's, it's pro I mean, I was working steadily when I got the X-Files, but I think that was, you know, that was such a, a, a present thing in the culture and such a big hit, so yeah. I, I don't think I'd been in a, I hadn't been in a hit or anything. So well, I guess how that's were you a, selected for that role? Um, auditions and all of that? Yeah, audition. Yeah, I had, to, I had to audition, and, you know, in front of the network, you, you do that arcane so series of So even though you were club goer number three, you it, still had to hard go to through the rigorous isn't it? audition <laughs> process. I said, look at the tape. No, but, <laughs> but what a great, uh, what a great series, yeah. and what a breakthrough for you. Well, let's take a look at now you in action here okay. in Californication. You're asking your ex-girlfriend. You go yes. back to the ex-girlfriend. The mother of my child. For some help. Yes. Take a look. Hey, I know, I ruined your life and all, and I... When is he going to get a break from life? <laughs> that scene was so California, wasn't it? The, the well, big sign Venice, behind Venice, Venice yeah. sure, of course. I thought, I thought you were going to show the whole episode there for a second. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sunday night's 9 o'clock on Showtime. Good to see you again, David. Thanks a lot. Kathy Bates, coming up next, we'll be right back. Tomorrow on Live, new American Idol judge Steven Tyler.